Hello and welcome to the channel. Welcome to episode 19 of season 1. Today is day 2 of my journey to the Red Center and I'm traveling about 550 kilometers from Miljura in Victoria to Port Augusta in South Australia. The first place in today's itinerary is Renmark, but before that I will stop at the state border sign to take photos with Stromi and then I have to stop at the fruit fly quarantine station just after crossing the state border. South Australia is free from fruit fly and other pests. The movement of some fruits and vegetables into the state is prohibited. Quarantine stations and disposable bins are strategically placed throughout the state. If you travel to South Australia from other state, please check the restrictions online to avoid any penalty. You can find the link in the video description. Stromi needs some fuel and luckily the service station is just a few meters from the quarantine station. The Paringa Silo Art is the gateway to the South Australia Silo Art Trail. With a wealth of creative experience, renowned artist Jack Friend was entrusted 
to bring the vision the river at Renmark to life. Local characters were selected to feature as the base profiles with the story of the district told through the images within the profiles, including Possum and his mythological connection with the Murray, a houseboat, the historic paddle steamer industry, a dinghy, the magnificent river cliff plus the iconic Paringa Bridge and a Murray Code. The next place was not in the list, but I met a lovely couple at the silos and they said the Heading Cliff Lookout is worth a visit. The lookout offers stunning views of Murray River and is one of the most photographed scenes in the region. Only short 10 minutes drive from Paringa, the unique rich colors in golden limestone cliffs make it a beautiful place. They were also going to the lookout, so I did not bother adding it to the navigator because following them was an easy option. On my way to Renmark, I crossed the suspension bridge on the mighty Murray River called the Paringa Bridge. This bridge was opened in January 1927 and is one of only four suspension bridges still spanning the Murray River. It was designed and constructed for road and rail traffic. With rail no longer operating in the region, the track section of the bridge has been converted to pedestrian walkway and is now part of tracks and trails network of the district. The lift span section of the bridge is still in operation and depending on the river traffic, it is scheduled to lift every day at 9.30 in the morning and 2.30 in the afternoon. Denmark is the largest town in Riverland region. It is known for its fresh produce, particularly oranges, and it is also the largest wine region in Australia. Like so many towns in the area, 
Denmark is characterized by wide streets and handsome riverbank parklands. Let's ride through this beautiful town and capture some footage. From here to the last destination of the day is about 400 kilometers. So basically, I'm not even halfway through today's journey. The aim is to reach Fort Augusta before dark, but I don't want to stretch myself too much and get exhausted in the first few days of this entire trip. So I guess taking a few breaks every now and then is a good idea.
Next in the list is Bara. The town is known for its copper mine. The mine, which operated between 1845 and 1877, was once the largest copper mine in Australia. In total, it produced 50,000 tons of copper and is credited with saving the young state of South Australia from bankruptcy. The site is recognized as one of the most significant mining heritage sites in Australia. There is a beautiful lookout just before the town. The place is called Thomas Pickett Monument. The monument commemorates Shefford Thomas Pickett, who discovered the Bura copper deposit in 1845.
heading to the last destination of today, Port Augusta, also known as the gateway to the outback and as the crossroads of Australia. This regional hub where the outback meets the ocean is a major tourism, shopping, government and commercial centre. The city offers vibrant range of cafes, pubs, restaurants and accommodation options. I still have 200 kilometers to go, so it is going to be another day of race against time. That was all in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and support this channel by clicking the subscribe button. I will see you again in the next episode. Until then, keep on riding and if you do not ride, keep on keeping on.